We all love coding in VS Code. Everything is customizable from themes to extensions and coding just feels effortless. But there are times especially in data science when we are running heavy models or big data tasks our local machines start to struggle. The fan kicks in, performance drops and suddenly progress slows down. That's when we turn to Google Colab. It's lightweight, powerful and gives us access to free GPUs, easy collaboration and zero setup. It's like having a supercomputer ready in your browser. But then again, switching between Colab and VS Code can be a bit of a hassle, correct? What if you could get the best of both worlds? The comfort and flexibility of VS Code and the cloud power of Google Colab. Well, now you can. With the new Google Colab extension for VS Code, you can connect directly to Colab, run notebooks seamlessly and supercharge your workflow. Let's take a look at how this works. This is our favorite VS Code. I have an early access to the Google Colab extension. But before we move forward, I want to show you the exact version that I am on uh, with respect to VS Code. I am currently on the version 1.105.1. .1. When you watch this video, Colab will be available as a searchable extension. I have the extension in form of a VSIX file. So I'll install from the file that I have. Now the installation is done. The first thing that I'll do is I'll create a simple Jupyter Notebook. I'll name it demo.ipynb file. Now I'll select the kernel. The kernel that I've selected is Colab and I click on auto connect. The first time when you use this, the extension will want you to sign into Google. So you will have to allow this, give access to your profile and that's about it. Once you do that, you will select Python as the kernel and that's about it. Now, when I start typing import numpy as np, import pandas as pd and when I run this, you're basically using the servers available on Google Colab and that is how you're kind of executing code right now. When I now run the command nvidia-smi, it tells me that the command is not found. Why? Because by default, you've created a CPU instance. Now, what if I want a GPU instance on Google Colab? Well, you can do it from VS Code itself. Let me show you how. I click on the Python 3 kernel. I click on new Colab server. I click on GPU. I click on T4 and I press enter. That's it. Now, when I execute import numpy as np and import pandas as pd, this is running in a GPU instance. This technically runs on CPU as well, but the differentiating command is nvidia-smi. When I run this, here is where you can see that you have access to a Tesla T4 GPU. Now I can go ahead and I can create a simple sentiment analysis solution as well. Just to test out if things are working fine, let me start off by importing pipeline from transformers. This works. Then I create a sentiment analysis pipeline and I pass in device equal to zero so that this model resides in the GPU. I create a variable called as text to analyze, which is collab on VS code is amazing. And finally, when I call the pipeline by passing in the input text, it gives me that the label is positive. I am running a simple bird based model for sentiment analysis on Google collab using VS code. There are no weird extensions in place. This is the default official collab extension that is available right now. I would highly encourage all of you to use it because if you need compute in case of LLM development, then Google Colab is something that you should definitely utilize and you can do it locally through your VS Code application. This is all that I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you how you can merge the powers of VS Code along with Google Colab and create some amazing LLM applications on the cloud. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe for more such amazing videos on AI and LLMs.